Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I'm going to give you an 8 month update on my ultra low tech fishbowl aquascape. I'm really impressed with how well this aquascape has turned out, especially because there's no CO2 fertilizers or flow in the fishbowl. I guess the only thing you really need to do with aquascapes like this is just to keep it clean and maintained. It's been a while since I've done any maintenance on this fishbowl, so I think it's about time we clean the glass, change the water and trim the plants a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is remove about 50% of the water this time. Since it has been a while since I've done any maintenance on this bowl, I decided to do a larger water change than usual. The plant that grows the most in this fishbowl aquascape is a hydrocarbonyl tripartia mini Japan. So what I like to do is just trim all the scraggly bits and then replant them later on. I noticed one of the hydrophila pinnatophila has grown really tall recently, so I decided to trim it back and then replant it just to see if it can grow a little bit more on the scape. I'm just going to replant some of the hydrocostal tripartia mini. I like to try and remove as much of the dead plant matter as I can from the fishbowl. I also decided to do a bit more replanting on the right side of the bowl just to fill it out a little bit. I like to use most of the time when I maintain the bowl to clean the glass. In the morning sunlight directly hits the glass of the fishbowl. This is one of the main reasons why I get lots of algae off in the glass every couple of weeks. So when you are setting up your own fishbowl or aquarium, make sure you don't place it in an area that gets direct sunlight, otherwise you'll be battling the algae forever. I just like to use a little rag just to stop any water from getting underneath the bowl. Just as I was about to add the fresh clean water to the bowl, I noticed there was some more algae on the glass. So I'm just going to go over it again with my toothbrush just to get rid of as much of it as I can. Now I'm going to fill the bowl with fresh clean room temperature water. I like to use room temperature water just so I don't have any temperature shock on the fish and shrimp. The water looks a little bit cloudy right now because I've got a filter to clean out all the particles in the water column. And now that I refilled the bowl with water, some of the dead plant matter has floated up to the top again. So I'm just going to remove that to prevent any organic matter from building up in the water column. As always, it's always important to clean any water off the glass. In a few hours, all the particles in the water column should settle down. The water should become a little bit clearer once this happens. And here's the bowl after about 4-5 to five hours. All the particles in the water column have settled down to the bottom of the fish bowl, and the water starts to look a little bit more clear. But because we had a lot of algae off on the glass, this meant there's more particles in the water column. I think I'm going to have to do another water change just to remove those excess particles and then hopefully we should get some nice crystal clear water in this fishbowl. I got a little bit extra footage of the fishbowl for you guys. And just before I show you that footage, I just want to quickly let you know that 95% of you guys who watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel and give this video a like, it really helps the channel grow. Here's a better view of all the guppies in the fishbowl. I really enjoy seeing how my guppy colony is starting to grow over the past few months. At the moment the guppies are in all different stages of growth, so it'll be really interesting to see what colours they start to develop as they grow older. I decided to try and show you a different angle of the fishbowl this time. Here's the view from the top of the fishbowl. I'm going to show you guys what it's like when I feed my guppies some high Nano fish bites. 